Okay, uh, so my first video, um, it's not a really like a big update video. Of course, today is my shot day number three. So it marks two weeks being on testosterone. Um, uh, not very much changes. I see just a lot of my midsection, um, kind of, you know, the fat getting coming off my midsection. Um, but really this video is for, um, documenting for a lot of the trans guys who are just now starting on T who don't want to wait for about a month or so, um, so they can have a video to reference. I am two weeks on T. Um, I don't want to wait very long for my facial hair growth to start. I do have a lot of peach fuzz already, um, that I've been seeing. I can feel it a lot more than I see it. Obviously, I still look like I have a baby face. Um, but I'm using minoxidil. I have the Equate bottle. It's going to look like this. It was like $12.40 at Walmart. Um, I've been seeing a lot of videos. Uh, one that I will reference is Adam Darko's video of um, his facial hair, his tips. Um, I got one tip was to always hydrate, um, exfoliate and hydrate too. Um, learned one of those. So I have like my hydrating moisturizer. Got this at Marshall's. Um, actually pretty expensive stuff. I got it at Marshall's for probably like five bucks. Um, and then my facial scrub is a charcoal, detoxifying charcoal facial scrub. Um, I read that when you want to stimulate beard growth, you're going to want to have a um, facial scrub, a, at least a scrub to stimulate and get out. Um, of course, my sister's an esthetician, so shout out to Sheridan. Um, she specifically told me not to buy things for Marshalls anymore. Um, but so far this stuff has been pretty good to my face. Hasn't dried it out at all. Um, which when I was going through my first puberty stage, my face was really oily. Sometimes it would get super dry. Um, I'm hoping this time around it doesn't get as dry. Um, which is why I bought a huge thing of facial moisturizer my first time ever um I'm was never really big on a facial like regimen of taking care of my face never been that way um so this is new to me uh to really just take care of myself um and like yesterday I found myself being like if you want this bad enough I mean you've been wanting to be on tea for a long time um and if you want this then just buy it down and do it I mean just dive in do it get it done um I also have castor oil too as well I'm actually going to use these two um together actually to help boost uh facial hair growth of course I just want I just want to start growing my facial hair um my voice is getting a little bit deeper gradually um every day I've been noticing um so coming in with this stuff, um, really it's pretty simple. Of course, this stuff is not used to go on your face really. So, um, if you do experience, uh, a rash, um, breakouts along your, along your jawline from where you put it on, I advise you to stop using it. Um, I, for one, know I can have sort of sensitive skin. So if I do start seeing um, breakouts or like a, a really bad rash, uh, definitely going to um, definitely going to stop and cease trying to use this on my face. I would advise you guys to do the same. Um, so here we go. I was reading up on it. If I'm going to do it on my face, you should wash your face first. Um, take off all that excess dirt and everything because it is going to open up all of your hair follicles all up in here um, to allow your hair to grow out. Um, let me go get a towel real quick. Uh, I should have already been prepared for this. Hold on. All right, I 
got a towel. I don't know if there's gonna be anything that spills on me, so definitely gonna try not to get it on my hoodie right now. Um, all right, so uh, it told me to, and you can see that one mil line, it told me to do all the way up to the one mil line, fill it up. Uh, of course, this is trial and error for me as well, so this is my first time using this, guys, so bear with me. Um, it did say put drops on my face um, where I want facial hair to grow. Um, so put it like this. And I guess what I'll do now is rub it in with two fingers. So you're going to rub it in with two fingers like this. It smells like alcohol. <laughs> this is literally what it smells like like medicated alcohol. And you're just gonna rub it in, applying little pressure, but making sure that it's going to be absorbed into your skin, okay? You're gonna wanna do it along your jawline, underneath, wherever you want hair to grow. So I advise you to not touch Anywhere else that you do not want hair to grow at, okay, guys? That's the premise of it is to get it on your jawline where you need your hair to grow. And I only did one hand only because I'm clumsy. If I do touch... It, if I do do two hands, I'm going to touch everything, and then I'm going to get this on everything, and then um, then if it touches Lexi and she has hair growth somewhere where she doesn't want hair growing, she probably would be really mad at me. Um, and for those of you who don't know who Lexi is, she's my girlfriend. Um, probably one of the videos I'll have her talk about her experience um, with me being on testosterone, of course, she's having the most fun with me <laughs> going off, uh, because testosterone's a wild ride, um, a very wild ride, uh, of emotions, definitely. Um, so, you rub it in, of course, it's not gonna, it's not gonna dry really fast, so, of course, like, you, you see the residue on my fingers. It's pretty greasy, oily-ish. Um, so now I just put that on my face. You are going to want to wait four hours um, after you have put it on. Uh, everyone says that it dries within, like, an hour. Still do not touch anybody with your face. Um... Don't kiss your girlfriends, nothing like that, for like four hours. It's a big commitment, and you do this twice a day, so it's a really big commitment, eight hours of your day um, of you putting this stuff on. But if you want facial hair, do it. Um, if you want it, see uh, growth. If you want it and you don't want to wait very much, you need a little boost, then I advise you to do that. I have seen... Um, different videos on it, reviews on using Minoxidil. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but whatever. Um, using it um, and it helping. And I've read that it helped a lot of guys on pre tea. So literally my video is just to encompass for those guys who just started tea. Um, this would be a video for you. 
um, reference Adam Darko. Look up his facial hair tips too as well. Um, I'll try my best to uh, get the names out of of a lot of the trans guys that I've been referencing. Um, and of course, even you don't even have to be trans to use minoxidil to help facial hair growth. Um, this is a video for a everyone, really, if you want facial hair growth, um, and if you don't see it, you can go the natural way with it, which is castor oil. It helps. It moisturizes as well. Um, and then you can use this as well, um, on your face too, uh, twice a day, four hours each time. So eight hours of your day. Okay. Um, it's... It's gonna be difficult, but I feel like I can do it. Um, so this is gonna be my first day, um, and there are many more videos to come on it. I'll probably do another video after a month of um, really using this. Um, so we shall see, and thank you guys. Stay tuned.